is built in fan on off control fan automatically works according to working temperature it looks like i'm going to hit a four gigabyte limit soon i don't know if it's going to continue the video or stop it but there might be two parts well it works and it actually blows a surprisingly good amount of air uh, i didn't even i that kept this open because i have two problems one it is too thick you cannot use a 25 millimeter fan if you use the 25 millimeter fan it will you can force two you can force it past two of the components the um um, the big transformer here and this little ceramic thing here, you can nudge them just enough out of the way that it'll go in. But there's a small transformer right here, and it will touch the fan, and it won't spin. Okay, that's why this is loose. I cannot screw that in, because it'll go in far enough to stop the fan from spinning. Um, it does blow good air, though. But I found another flaw in the design of this printer. That's a big issue for me. Maybe it's not an issue for the operation of the printer, but by the way... <laughs> I don't seem to be having too much trouble getting a bed to heat up nice and hot. In less than 10 minutes, it reached, or 10, 11 minutes, it reached 89 degrees. I have a set for 92, which is the max safe temperature for this, which is 90. So I figure a 92 bed will result in a 90 surface temp. Um, there you go, 90 degrees. So this will, and this is in an air-conditioned house. I have it set for, what do I have it set for, 74? Yeah, it's 74 degrees in here. So that's not a problem. I'm staying 72. I'm at 72 right now. Uh, no problem getting the 90. It got to 85 pretty quickly. I'd say less than 10 minutes or 10, 11 minutes. A little slower past 85, but it did get here like 12 minutes, maybe. I'll have to actually time it. Maybe it's longer than I thought. Maybe it's shorter than I thought. But it's not bad. I'm totally happy with that. This reaches ABS temperatures, no problem. Add a tiny bit of insulation, and I shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. So on this weekend, I'll print some ASA. And we'll see how that prints. But anyway, back to this. Um, another serious problem, which I'm about to rectify with a Dremel. This is a FUBAR design. That grill cuts down the airflow coming out of this fan by a factor of at least two. Less than half the amount of air comes out when I put this on top of that. So this is interfering with the flow of air out of this power supply. I think I'm also going to later on open this up too. To give it better airflow, we will see. Um, we'll go from there. But so I'm going to end the video here because I'm going to have to change this fan to something else. I have to leave it in here temporarily because I destroyed the um the fan that came out of there. I I um I killed it you know, by cutting the wires. And um, by the way, this is so quiet I didn't even hear it turn on. I had it sit like this so I can make sure it actually turned on. And it was so quiet I never even heard it turn on. You can hear this is the noise it makes. And most of that noise. Is that fan right there? This thing makes like no noise. It's it's so quiet. Just a hum of the fans going. Uh, so this is going to be great. But I need to find a shorter. A twenty millimeter will work. So I got to find a twenty millimeter, sixty millimeter ultra quiet fan. The twenty five millimeter was too thick. Or I have to modify this to allow a deeper fan. Um, we shall see. I'm thinking maybe if I put a hole in this. The size of the fan and I put a hole in here and I mount the fan to this instead of mounting the fan to this then I should be able to um, create just enough of a gap that the fan will clear we'll see if I can't find a thinner one uh, more to come later let's see did it get up there I got the 91 so you can see once you get past 85 it really slows down but it does get there and I am totally okay with that